Hi, my name is Lonnie Shea. I'm a professor and chair of biomedical engineering at the University of Michigan. And here to tell you about the sort of exciting research projects that are happening within uh, my laboratory with a number of really exciting and talented uh, graduate students and postdoctoral fellows. We do some really amazing, exciting science in the lab. Science that I never thought that we'd ever be able to do. And it really is focused on thinking of problems that patients face and trying to come up with solutions for them. And they tend to be in areas that are sort of tissues that are malfunctioning. And the idea is either how do you take this tissue and understand how it's beginning to fail and can we reverse this degeneration? Or there's a tissue that's been injured and you're trying to regenerate it and what are the cues and signals that you need to provide to really support and promote uh, the restoration of function for the tissue. I work in Dr. Lonnie Shea's lab uh, and I'm specifically working in the diabetes group. Dr. Lonnie Shea has really kind of pioneered the ability to create these porous biomaterial scaffolds that we use for multiple purposes. And specifically, I use it to help generate tissue. So um, another thing I really find fascinating is stem cells. And stem cells come from, you know, from where we start. They come from the blastocyst and uh, essentially create the 256 different cell types that we form as a human. And so understanding how the body directs these stem cells into these functional organs is really fascinating to me. And as an engineer, we're given this unique opportunity to create this uh, synthetic environment using these scaffolds and really control what's going on and how we can manipulate the stem cells in order to drive them towards one specific type of differentiation, one type of organ and function out of it. And so my research is kind of looking at how we can manipulate the way stem cells interact with the scaffolds as well as the other cells and learn between these interactions can we actually improve the function of these stem cell derived insulin producing cells. Uh, another area to think about is in the area of trauma and that the idea of you have certain injuries that you have the body's just not able to restore function so many of us will twist an ankle and while our ankle hurts for a little while ultimately we're able to walk again there's really not a, a big issue but if you get a spinal cord injury that's an instance where your body has had such a trauma that it doesn't recover from this and in large part it's due to the immune response um, there's enough damage from the trauma that that's bad enough but ultimately you have um, an immune response or an inflammatory response to that trauma that actually leads to more damage and we've been working on strategies that are able to attenuate that inflammatory response so that the tissue survives better, um, but then at the same time provide a support by which the tissue can actually regenerate and regrow through the injured spinal cord. And what you're looking at is healthy spinal cord tissue juxtaposed next to injured spinal cord tissue in which we've implanted a biomaterial bridge. Uh, the final area that I'll, I'll talk about is this really uh, a new direction, I think, for uh, you know, growing pieces of tissue. And it really is, for us, is approaching the area of cancer diagnostics. Uh, the really simple description here is that when cancer spreads uh, from a certain, certain site, such as breast cancer, it typically goes to very specific locations. So breast cancer goes to lung, liver, bone, and brain. And what we've been trying to do is actually make an implant that looks like those tissues and has sort of the key properties, so that when the cancer cells spread, they go to the implant rather than going to the lung, liver, bone, or brain. So um, in cancer metastasis, when cancer starts to spread through the body, we're pretty good at treating and breeding whole cancer, so if it just develops in one area. However, we're really, it's really difficult to treat cancer once it starts to spread. So our major concept is developing devices that allow us to detect that spreading of cancer, the cancer metastasis, at very, very early stages, so you can initiate therapy early in the disease state. And I think the realization has come in, but even cancer itself isn't just a single cell, it's really an environment. And that is certainly true of tissues. There's a complexity there that really brings, you know, cells of interest, the immune system, um, and just the whole environment. And that really is sort of well suited for biomedical engineers to really work at the interface um, to try to deal with the complexity and to create systems to understand what is going wrong but then also come up with the systems that can target the multiple barriers that are actually limiting the restoration of function.